DJ Pro has some of the most advanced waveforms out of any DJ software. And in this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about the waveforms for DJ Pro for the Mac. Right, so something interesting, when you first start the when you first start the software, you're not really gonna see much waveforms at all, except for these waveforms up here, which are not scratchable, not real waveforms. They the only thing you could do with these waveforms here is scrub through the track. So you could go to the end of the track, you could go to the beginning of the track, but you cannot make the scratching noise, and that is all you could do with these waveforms. In order to get a visible view of your waveforms, what you're going to have to do is use one of these expansions. So the way they were able to fit so many features was that they have these expansions that you could add. So the one all the way up here to the to the right, right before where it says two decks, we are going to press that. And then now we get a nice long horizontal view of our waveforms. So again, you press that, you don't lose any of these features over here by the jog wheels, but you gain a beautiful view of our waveforms. Now these are fully active scratchable waveforms. So that's a little hard to do with the mouse, but you can do that with the waveforms and we get a bunch of different information, obviously, we get the beats, so the fatter they're going to be, the, that's going to be bass. And then the smaller they are, that's going to be a smaller sound. It's really cool to be able to see what the song sounds, what the see by visual cues what the song is going to sound like and go from there. The different colors represent different frequencies. So once you've been using the app for a while, you can kind of know exactly what it's going to sound like by using the waveforms. And there's a couple of ways to customize them. One thing you'll see is it separates it into four four bars and then it counts the bars over here. Now we can adjust it by using by using uh, these hidden drop down menus by the one and two over here, hidden drop down menu. Now we get a couple more options that involve the waveforms. Number one is slice. What that's going to do is it's gonna make it like you can kind of finger drum and do like a stuttering effect. Uh, it's a cool DJ trick. So that's what that does. And then slip is gonna make it so when you scratch or when you manipulate the song, it, you're not gonna lose your place. So the song is gonna resume where it would have resumed if you didn't mess with it, if that makes sense. So um, I'm scratching and then it skips back to where it would go. So over there you see how it's doing that. So that is what's that is what skip does a really cool feature and then over here where you could change what they look like so high contrast is off so kind of it's harder to see the waveforms that kind of blend in more but if you press it again it makes this background really dark so the waveforms stand out more it makes it easier to dj if you're like djing in the sun like at, at a beach or a pool party next we have over here the neural mix tracks so you could separate it so now the the waveforms are separated based on neuromix with the with a two band neuromix or you could even do it with a three band neuromix and then you see it over here you kind of see the the symbols that represent it and then you could turn them on and off right there right on your waveforms i feel like it gets a little confusing i'm not the biggest neuromix user so i just keep it like this and then you could zoom in pretty far without it getting distorted and then you could also zoom out or reset it to what it was started on so a lot of controls, a lot of cool advanced features such as slice and skip and neural mix right there. So that it, it makes it really nice. Another thing you could do is press this little edit button. You got this edit button here. So you could adjust the beat grid. One of the new updates, they made it so you're able to control the beat grid, which is really cool to be able to customize. So this is, you could set the down, down beat. You could go forward, you could go back or you could open up the full editor. So now the editor is open down here and you could do a bunch of different, you could do a bunch of different customizations and really dial in your your waveforms and really see what's going on. It, sometimes the waveforms get it right like 95% of the time, but sometimes with different types of music, it can get it wrong. So here you could adjust it and customize it to work for what you need it to work for. And if you guys want to see my full tutorial on this app for the MacBook, check out this video over here.